G'day and welcome to the Tech Math Channel. What we're going to be having a look at in this video is how to add uh, fractions of, of mixed numbers, okay, uh, with different denominators. So a bit of a few things there, and we'll, we'll have a bit of a look, okay. So I'll start to do these. This is how to do these really, really quickly without having to worry about, uh, you know, working out lowest common denominators and the like. So anyway, see how you go. So an example I'll do here is say two and a half, and I'll add this to three and one-third okay now the way that we do this is first off if we have a mixed number we have to turn this this is a mixed number here where we have a, a normal number and a fraction together as one number we have to turn these into what is known as an improper fraction now an improper fraction is where we have a fraction but it has a bigger number on the top and a smaller number on the bottom and the easiest way to do that is this first off what we do is we put the bottom number as the same number and then to get the top number what we do is we get the the whole number here we times it by the bottom number and then we add it to the top number so I'll show you how to do this 2 times 2 is 4 plus 1 is 5 there you go we've turned it into a improper fraction so we'll keep the plus and we'll do the same thing over here so we keep this bottom number the same and then we go 3 times 3 plus 1 which equals 10 okay so how do we deal with this now well let's have a look well what we do with these is to get the bottom number the easiest way to do that rather than working at lowest common denominators and, and, and common denominators rah, 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 what we would do is we the simplest way is just to multiply the two bottom numbers together so 2 times 3 is 6 there you go we've got the bottom number <laughs> Then what we do is we start on the top left over here and we multiply this by its diagonal uh, pair over here on the bottom. Okay, so you'll see this the, the denominator, the bottom number over here on the bottom. So we times these two guys together. So 5 times 3 is 15. It's pretty important you start on the top left, okay, especially later on when we get into subtraction and things like this. Okay, so that was 15. We add these guys together. Then we go over to the right over here and we multiply this by the diagonal over there okay so 10 times 2 is 20 okay so we have 15 plus 20 over 6 so we go 15 plus 20 which is 35 and the bottom number stays the same so we have the fraction 35 over 6 okay we can actually uh, turn this now and, and a lot of teachers like their students to do this they like the students to turn this back now into a mixed number at the moment it's an improper fraction it's a bigger number over a smaller number so what we do to do this is we go 35 and this line here means divided by so we divide 6 into 35 so 35 divided by 6 is 5 and there's 5 left over that 5 we put as the top number of our of our fraction here and we put that over 6 this same as this number here okay that wasn't too bad yeah what about I'll uh, I'll do another one I'll rub those out and let's have a look okay I'll make up another one on the spot here and I'll do something like uh, five and a half plus one and two-thirds okay and so what do we do first first off because we have mixed numbers here we have to turn them into improper fractions so do you remember how to do that yeah we keep the bottom number the same so the 2 we get this we multiply it by this so 5 times 2 is 10 plus 1 okay 5 times 2 is 10 plus 1 is 11 we put the plus there and then for this one we keep the bottom number the same 1 times 3 is 3 plus 2 is 5 there you go we've got them written out now and they're written as uh, two improper fractions we're adding together so let's uh, do this little trick so what we do to get the bottom number 2 times 3 is 6 and then what we do is we start over here and we multiply these two numbers so 11 times 3 is 33 we keep the plus and 2 times 5 is 10. This equals 33 plus 10 is 43. 
and we put that over 6. So as you see, we're, we're, we're stuck with a improper fraction here, so we'll turn that into a mixed number. So 43 divided by 6, 7 6s are 42, so we get 7 with 1 left over 1. This number is going to be the same, so a 6. 7 and 1 6. Okay, I'll try this with a subtraction number. Rub those out. So here's our subtraction. Let's uh, go, uh, what, three and a quarter, and we'll take away one and a third. All right, so first off, let's, what do we do? We've got mixed numbers here. We're going to turn them into improper fractions. Okay, it's the same sort of process. Okay, it's just taking away this time. So three times four is 12. Actually, we'll put the four down here first. Three times four is 12, plus one is 13 take away, 3 down here, 1 times 3 is 3, plus 1 is 4, okay, then what we do is, okay, to get this bottom number, 3 times 4 is 12, again we start at the top left here, this is where minus is really important because, uh, you know, it's, it actually matters what take away what, it affects our answer, um, so 13 times 3 is 39, we put the minus there, and then we have 4 times 4, which is 16. That equals 39 take away 16 is 23, and this goes over 12. Okay, as you see, this is an improper fraction, so we can uh, simplify it further. 23 divided by 12, it goes once and it has 11 left over, so we put 11 over 12. Not too bad, right? What about I go one last one, another subtraction one, and then I'll uh, leave you be on this one. So, what about we go um, six and a half, and we take away uh, three and three quarters. Okay, so how do we do this? Again, we have mixed numbers here. We have to turn them into improper fractions. So we have the 2 on the bottom here. 6 times 2 is 12, plus 1 is 13. Take away 4 on the bottom. 3 times 4 is 12, plus 3 is 15. Okay, so let's uh, now do our cross-multiplication type thing. So we'll get our bottom number first. 2 times 4 is 8. 13 times 4. That's a bit of a harder question, isn't it? 13 times 4. The answer to that is 52. And we take away 2 times 15, which is 30. So this equals 52 take away 30 over 8. 52 take away 30 is 22. And that goes over 8. Now this is a good one because we actually not only have a... a, a improper fraction which is left, but we're also going to have to simplify it a little bit. So, let's simplify it first. So there's a number that goes into both 2 and 8, and that will be 2. 2 goes into 22 11 times, and it goes into 8 4 times. So we have 11 over 4, then we can turn, that's simplification, we can't divide anything further into it, so let's just get rid of this uh, improper fraction, turn it into a mixed number. So 11 divided by 4, it goes in twice, three left over, so that three goes over four. So I hope that was of some help. Anyway, thanks for watching. See you next time.